Hey everyone, welcome to another Pokemon Showdown match. This is another game that I had that I just made a team quickly for it together. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a team with one of every Mega on it. So at the moment I have a team with I have a team with Mega Aerodactyl, which is this one. I have a Mega Gyarados team, and I think I have a Mega I have a Mega Gardevoir team, but I don't really like it. I'm not sure what else I have. But this is the Mega Aerodactyl game basically, and in this game I got a bit of luck, in this game some bad moves were made and a few misclicks thanks to my mouse but it all came out okay. I got a couple of choices in there that some of you might question but they all work out. So without further ado let's watch the match shall we? I start off with a tentacruel because I really needed a special defence and couldn't think of anything that I haven't already got in one of my other teams. He switches out the cliff key, probably trying to predict that I had a sludge bomb, I went for the barrier, I'm going to do nothing against that Alakazam who had just sweep it down. Going to the fortress, the hidden power does neutral damage so I'm not sure what that would have been a hidden power of. Fortress out in a moment, I predicted the switch and went for the stealth rocks. Fortress goes back, tentacruel back out again still with his houndoom, he mega evolves and he's got the nasty plot which works out really well for me because it means he's special attacking and my tentacruel's pretty special attacking defensive. School takes him down to 30 but I get the leftovers back up. So Dark Pulse is going to bring me down to 4, I knew I could take another one. Scald comes out again, down goes the Houndoom, and that's his Mega Pokemon out the way pretty quickly there. His Alakazam comes out next, doesn't take no damage thanks to that Magic Guard I think it's called. A switch out here, Hidden Power comes out, I'm immune to it so possibly fighting Hidden Power or something. Shallow Ball does super effective damage, I get the Citrus Berry and I got Harvest on the Tree Vent. That was a misclick there. I clicked Curse, I was meant to click Shadow Claw. So yeah, Curse does nothing because obviously he's got Magic Guard, but oh well. I bring out the Aerodactyl, switches it out, I get the Mega Evolve off. Stone Edge comes out, it does extra damage thanks to that Tough Claws, I think his ability is called. Knew I could outspeed the Gliascore, down goes Gliascore, and I'm sitting pretty at the moment. Not too bothered. The Zoomerill comes out, pretty scared of this thing. Earthquake doesn't do as much as I hoped it would. And Waterfall finishes off the Aerodactyl. <laughs> Azumarill threats are so real. Like, they're ridiculous. So with the Frisk, I saw he was Choice Banded there. Frisk Navarian can be really good. I go for the Focus Blast, predicting the switch into the Clef Key, but it didn't do as much as I hoped it would. Toxic on no Noivern, not great for me. Flamethrower comes out though, finishes off Clef Key. Flamethrower on Noivern can be good, because a lot of people try and... I try and do Clef Key because it's got the Steel and Fairy defensive against it. Air Slash doesn't quite finish off the Azumarill like I thought it would. That was one of my bad moves. I should have just gone for something else. But here's the man of the hour, Dedene. Go for the Charge Beam knowing it will get the kill and I get the special attack boost. Dedene is really fast. I know I've been always saying kick him and they're rubbish, but Dedene can seriously be good on the showdown. Resistant to Glare, obviously, because electric types can't be paralyzed now. So I've got the special attack up, Thunderbolt's not going to do much, I go for my own charge beams, not going to do much either but I've only really done it to get the special attack level up. Because at the moment I'm not really scared of this Helios, I know he's probably only got Thunderbolt. I got Citrus Berry as well and the check pouches or cheek pouches really boosts up my healing from that Citrus Berry so I'm back at half health. Thunderbolt brings me down again, go for the Volt Switch knowing it would get the kill so I get a free swap off here. Because he's going to bring in the Alakazam which would outspeed the Dene anyway. Going to Fortress, he can take whatever Alakazam's going to dish out. Psychic comes, resist it. Fortress goes bug bite, one taken down. I honestly didn't think he'd take it down with one hit. But that was GG, so well done Sage3051. You can check out his channel, it'll be in the description. It was a good match. And you can expect to see more from me guys with more Mega Pokemon team. So, I'll see you then guys. Bye bye.